What is up guys, I'm back from my video. Today I'm doing an unboxing, or I actually unboxed it already, but it is a Studio Series Decepticon Blackout. This thing does have a lot of detail on it. It's actually really cool. This is from like Revenge of the Fallen and the first movie, the score. So this is awesome. Very cool looking. Wish they could have hid the screws better, but I guess they didn't have to. I always wonder what this was. This is part of the engine, I think. Yeah, it is. All right. Um, the head swivels good. I'll tell you that for sure. Look at that. The eyes. I can tell you that. Well, spoiler warning. I guess I should really say before I tell you. Um, mega like um, Optimus Prime did kill this guy and. Um, Revenge of the Fallen. And the Fallen, if you don't know who that is, as it states in the movie title, is Megatronus, which got banished from the, from Cybertron or something like that. And then he got, he, like, went inside, like, this interdimensional tomb, I think. Tomb. And it was pretty interesting. It was, it's an interesting movie. You should guys go watch it. Um... Pretty much, this guy is definitely pretty hefty, pretty big. It does have a little special character with it. It's definitely pretty awesome if you do lift this. Well, it is separate in the packaging, but if you actually find, if you actually find where the slot where he actually goes, you have a Scorp knock. Definitely pretty awesome little transformer. He has little little, uh, I don't even know what you call them, I guess pinchers, he's basically like a scorpion, it's, so it's really awesome, I do enjoy that, I, I did enjoy seeing his appearance, but he did k basically kill or weaken, uh, what's his name, I don't know, I guess it kind of doesn't matter. Place them back if I can get it. So I'm not looking through the camera. I'm actually looking with my eyes. Well, that's kind of the same thing, but okay. Get it. I can't get it. Let me move this up all the way, and I'll get. It. My bad, guys. He is placed back. Alright. He, he did come with a little backdrop. As you can see. Let me actually fix him up. There we go. Alright. But you know, this thing is not, doesn't have a fall off. Alright, that's the little backdrop it comes with. Just fix that. Definitely looks really awesome. Let's just move that out of the way. I need more space. This guy is definitely pretty awesome, and you can you can actually see me in the reflection. So you can see yourself of the TV. Alright can actually, like, you know, make his legs go up higher and everything. It's definitely a really awesome Decepticon. I did enjoy seeing him in the movies. He did kind of show up for a very short time. And these, this hand actually moves, as you can see. 
You can only do this, actually. You can only turn it like that. For some reason. Definitely pretty cool. Hmm. I don't know why. It can't be like this. Oh, I see why. Okay. Um, I will attempt to try and transform him. I can't exactly put it on time lapse. He does look really awesome. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll start with the back. I do know that piece goes there. And then this move, so. Alright. This goes that way. I don't know how to exactly move anything. Hmm. Pretty interesting, actually. Alright, uh, it seems like we would have to start with the legs, so we're kind of doing that on each, I guess. Uh, I don't know what these are, though. Those seem like the wheels, so we're going to have to, like, move this all the way back. I can't exactly find out where it's supposed to go. See, that's kind of where it transforms to. You know what, I'm just not going to even attempt to, because I don't want to break anything. I will see, maybe I can make a video on how to transform it. Probably not. Um, if you guys have anything else you want me to unbox, please let me know in the comments. Um, I mean, like, I'm trying to get some more Yu-Gi-Oh cards to unbox, so you can't really find anything new. They did get rid of a new set that I was going to buy earlier. So, I did buy this at Target. I just noticed this actually. It comes with a little gun. It comes with, like, these little... Um, I was going to say almost cannons. Right, let's just move that back. Let's move this back. Come on. There we are. All right. And I doubt you guys kind of enjoyed that video, but let me just, yeah, this video was pretty much a dud, and Scorpionok just died, something just fell off of him, yep, his claw, little, his little claw fell off, that's a little design flaw right there, but I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I know I didn't really describe the box. Actually, let me get the box. So let's move this box. Alright. The box basically has to consist of pictures of Blackout and Scorpionok. And then it does have a little backside where it, it, uh, has him as a robot and then him as a vehicle. And then you got... Then you have Scorpionok, and then it takes 46 steps to transform him. So, definitely really awesome. It says, Decepticon Blackout. Shocks human defenses with unstoppable force. And then it has Grimlock and Optimus as other ones you can buy. And then Backdrop concluded. Or, you know. So, guys, I will see you in the next video. I did enjoy this unboxing probably more than you, and I did take it out of the box before, so I didn't have to, you know, actually waste a bunch of time. So if you did enjoy this video, and if you are kind enough to 